and welcome back to the episode of Last Elder Survival Today we return, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you guys are having an absolutely fan freaking fantastic day of the most amazing Friday. I gotta take a shower. That only gets more fan freaking fantastic from here on out. Today we got some glorious stuff coming your way. We are continuing and continuing and continuing this season two story and showing off some brand new stuff that y'all may have never before seen and i think it's gonna catch your attention so without further ado boom this was posted and there's more than this by the way it's just the first little tidbit we got something even more secretive and cool after this as well but this was actually posted just the other day by kafir with a teaser saying that this is indeed having to do with season three as we know we are in the middle of season two and we are following the season two story but we have just found out that there's a little something here that is going to tie in directly with season three now what in tarnation is this well first off uh, something that we can decipher is the fact that there's the presence of those weird kind of like uh, that infection type stuff kind of like near the middle kind of like towards the left of the screen that little like infectious blobs all over that little like section of the floor that is very interesting because that looks a lot like what we've seen over here in season two so it looks like the infection that we've seen spreading this like super infection spreading in season two it appears that it's gonna be a part of season three which further ties in with the fact that it looks like these seasons are going to tie in with each other and kind of contain a cohesive story but beyond that what incarnation are we seeing with this giant like blue type generator engine looking thing with all sorts of tubes coming to it from these things on the sides and well first off just kind of off like the architecture and just the design of this this actually reminds me a lot of the bunker and as we know we are still missing bunker floor five and bunker floor six and i'm not gonna lie between like kind of like the flooring tiles we're seeing the railing we're seeing and just the general design of this this ties in very nicely with uh well something that could be down there in the depths of the bunker potentially signifying that season three is going to be adding in the fifth bunker floor for us to go to and that this is going to be some part of that floor which would make a little bit of interesting sense as well because once we kind of further look into exactly what we're looking at well it appears that we have those three kind of like things on the side like those like yellow little like not balls but not cylinders like whatever those yellow things are with the tubes coming out of them going in towards that central thing it appears that those might be some sort of like they're sending some sort of a potential liquid over there towards the central area which makes me think that those might be part of some sort of a cooling system and then whatever's in the middle honestly this is looking and this is something i've seen some people bring it up as well but this is definitely something that caught my attention and it reminds me of some sort of like a nuclear reactor potential type setup and there might be some sort of like a that's why like the middle over there is glowing where it's like blue glowing over in the middle area where all of that kind of like those tubes are leading towards there might be something being liquid cooled over there and that could very well be something like a nuclear reactor for example with like uranium rods or some sort of like radioactive i, I don't know 100 like how a nuclear reactor to works or something but i do know that at its core you do have like some sort of a nuclear material that is able to produce energy from like a type of reaction that happens but that reaction is very hot and creates a lot of heat so you need to cool it and that's where those tubes are coming in handy and where that blue glow is also interesting and that would make actually a decent amount of sense in the bunker fifth floor as well because that might mean that the fifth floor because every floor kind of has like a unique theme going to it and it kind of serves a little bit of a function since for example like the fourth floor is literally like where they store their food where they stored their meat like the fourth floor was just like they had huge like multiple freezing like freezers where they would just have balls of meat hanging from them that i mean ultimately they got infected and stuff but that's besides the point the point is that every floor kind of serves a purpose and this might be tying in with floor five potentially being the floor that like powers the entirety of the bunker and that would maybe explain why the bunker still kind of has power because like i'm not gonna lie dude like that that place works surprisingly well for some place that's pretty much been a hundred percent like zombified besides like the one specialist we have to save so very interesting stuff coming from there and once we go over this second thing this kind of like nuclear thing that i'm talking about might very well be uh something something you like i also already saw some people thinking this has to do with sector seven guys they literally said this is specifically season three and we know that the seasons are single player updates so 
this has nothing to do with sector seven this is going to be single player and it's either going to be some sort of a new location that's a nuclear reactor or in what i think it is based off of kind of like some of the other stuff we're sealing like the railing like the flooring and the fact that the bunker hasn't gotten something new in a minute i think this might be the fifth floor of bunker alpha and that would tie in very interestingly with season three because we know that season three is going to add the atv and the bunker was the first ever area we were able to get the chopper gas tank the bunker was at the core of building our chopper and now it would make a lot of sense for it to be at the core of us building our atv as well and i mean adding in a fifth floor that somehow ties in with that i mean and having this new stuff have to do with that as well that is things are adding up i will leave it like that they're adding up and boom this was also shared by the devs they sent this to pretty much just like a bunch of youtubers and streamers and stuff and they're like hey like feel free to share this like we're not going to share it on our official channels so uh that's exactly what i'm happy to do and this is some new zombies that may be coming to the game so what the developers said is that not all of these zombies are going to be coming but some of them are and this is where things get interesting as well, because as we kind of like look through the zombies, it looks like a lot of them have this central theme of hazmat stuff. Like for example, that zombie all the way on the right literally has what appears to be some sort of like a nuclear symbol on the tank that he has on his back. The fella on the left looks like he has a hazmat suit. And this is where people are like, oh, this is gonna be sector seven stuff, but no. It's season three. Season three cannot have anything to do with Sector 7 because season updates are single player, which means that this is going to have to be hazmat stuff that has to do with the single player part of the game, which ties in with what we just saw and that like whole nuclear reactor type shindig and kind of reinforces the idea of a nuclear reactor being at the core of everything that we're seeing, which has me very excited. So that's really exciting that like it's really looking like the nuclear reactor is going to be a huge part of this update and these zombies are reinforcing that idea and also, so that zombie in the middle looks like some sort of a boss zombie because I mean the rest of the zombies look kind of generic but that man in the middle really stands out he has literally green like glowing stuff on him he has what appears to be a gas mask freaking green eyes he is terrifying in addition to like a Naruto type suit or something but yeah he is terrifying and he also has an arrow pointing towards him which makes me re he, he really stands out from the rest of the zombies because honestly the zombie to the left and to the right of him look pretty similar and then the zombie be all the way to the left and all the way to the right also look pretty similar so i like i definitely think that that one in the middle is going to be the most special zombie that we see and personally i think it's going to be some sort of a boss that ties in with this whole nuclear reactor type thing because i mean his suit that he's wearing the gas mask that he has on and the fact that he's super irradiated and mutated it ties in very nicely with the whole nuclear reactor type thing kind of like coinciding with the zombies that are likely to be present there the zombie all the way on the left looks to be a little bit on the thicker side probably like a floater bloater type enemy that we will be seeing over here in this nuclear area uh the zombie to the left and to the right of the middle fella those just look like more kind of like normal type zombies maybe like fast biters like normal biters looks like that might be their kind of like nuclear version and then all the way on the right uh, that one's looking a bit more special since he does actually have like the nuclear suit on and stuff and i don't know maybe he'll be able to like spit or something maybe that'll be like some form of a spitter i'm not 100 sure but i do know some of the stuff that we are seeing and especially that man in the middle appears to be some sort of boss that season three will be having but with that said and with that done that's gonna wrap it up for the new info that we got coming your way today let's go and continue today's shenanigans and there is a survivor camp that requires our help we're gonna head on over here to help these survivors out and then we need to go over to this infected research area to try and save a couple of scientists from my man where's my man over here from my man barker who apparently they went to do some research and haven't come back or something so we got to see what that's all about but dude talk about interesting stuff coming out coming out about season three and genuinely something that i am incredibly hyped for because the potential to have a new floor be added into the game like yes please that's definitely something that i could get behind and hello tom how are you doing um honestly i'll just i'll give you i'll give you the melee weapon i will be using mint own weapons and i will be helping you battle all of the zombies because this place in case you are not aware is about to be attacked by a lot of zombies and i am ready to do what i can like look these guys freaking go hide behind corners why don't you guys honestly i just realized like, why don't y'all go and hide somewhere more effective like maybe inside of the tents is this rocket science that i'm talking about apparently because these survivors well 
they're not exactly the best at surviving. And this Uzi is actually quite good at mowing down these zombies that are going to come and try. Hey, good stuff, Tom, to take them down. Oh, no, don't hurt my friends. Don't let this happen. Tom, what are you doing? We got people to defend. Come on, buddy. There you go. We're doing a pretty good job at kind of like getting them off their backs, though, which is good news. I'll switch over to the pistol to deal with these fellers. Honestly, we're doing a pretty good job at keeping these survivors alive. Oh, baby, I had to open my mouth. Lots of people are coming. No. For once, will I, will, will, blah, English hard. Will I finally be able to, okay, psych, that's not good. I am out of guns. Oh, no. Oh, dear mama. I am so sorry. I have failed you, survivor camp. Oh, uh, no, I did not have to bring enough weapons for this, didn't I? Uh, <laughs> well, okay, you know what? We're gonna beat him up. We're gonna beat him up. Let's go, Tom. Tom's not helping me beat him up. Tom, why you do this? Okay, you know, float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. I'm gonna do what I can. Uh, this is not good. Did, did this guy drop a weapon of some sort or, or my hands? Can I hit him with boots? I don't know. Oh, I have an idea. Maybe I can use my ingenuity to kill them because there are spikes on the outskirts of this camp. Yeah. <laughs> and if we have them just kind of run around the camp, they should try and take care of themselves. So whew. talk about a little bit of a close call. I was not expecting this camp to require so much of my stuff to get used up. Also, somehow, some way, this still continues being the case where I'm just going to punch the bejesus out of the rest of these failures. It somehow continues being the case where only one survivor dies. Even when I run out of weapons to defend these dudes, one survivor still dies and two of them live. I am just eternally able to save two people at this event. And uh, sorry about this guy, but he died naked by a tree in the corner of the camp. So kind of sucks to be him and uh, sucks to be me because I got no guns. So yeah, Tom, good luck to y'all. Just making sure I didn't leave any loot behind because these zombies drop eyeballs and eyeballs are good. We can craft cool stuff and cool weapons with them. But uh, yeah, I'm going to leave here now and I'm going to go to a little location known as base. I'm going home and I'm grabbing some guns because I need them or just any sort of weapon like that. But there you guys have the survivor camp for today that we were able to knock out. Now, the question is, did we finally get that task done where we got to save survivors? Isn't that isn't that a task? Or maybe that's a task for a future week. I know that there's a task where if you save a oh, my God, there's a task to make berry tea. Oh, who did this? Why? Why would you force people to make berry tea for a task? Kefir, you are evil. Berry tea, what's wrong? Oh my God, oh, this hurts, it hurts to think about. Oh my God, this is an abomination and it's not toxic either. It's toxic to my soul. Ugh. Well, that's disgusting, but uh, yeah, there you guys have a wrap-up of today's event, and I'm gonna grab a couple of weapons for the rest of today's shenanigans, too. Maybe just grab a gun and a shotgun in case things get a little bit fogly. We got a couple of melee weapons. I reckon we're doing okay. We got some band-aids, and we're about to have some mods. That should easily help us get through the rest of this. We got our shotgun modified like we want. Well, beautiful. Let's go and set out and uh, save us some survivors then in that case. But let me know what you guys think about this season three stuff. What do you guys think of the new zombies? What do you think about like what which zombie might be? What do you think about that middle zombie I was talking about being some sort of a boss? And then the fact that both of these like teasers tie in very nicely with this theme of season three somehow incorporating like a nuclear facility or a nuclear reactor. And especially with the way that it's looking and the fact that technically speaking, like the bunker needs some sort of a power supply that's been keeping it alive this entire time, right? Like, if it had some sort of a nuclear reactor going on, like, a nuclear reactor could probably keep on running for a little while after people stopped tending to it, but there's probably a countdown towards some sort of a disaster happening, and I wonder if in Season 3 the military might, like, enlist us and be like, hey, you gotta go down to that basement and uh, stop a nuclear meltdown from blowing up Bunker Alpha, and then, like, that zombie could be protecting the final console that you need, and then there could be, like, an ATV transmission down there. Like, there's a lot of potential with what we've seen Season 2 and how it has this kind of, like, story incorporated into it that's definitely very very interesting so it's something i'm looking forward to and hopefully something that y'all are looking forward to as well but let me know what you guys think about that location that they were teasing about the new zombies that they were teasing any and all that type of jazz in that comment section down below how you think it's all going to tie together if you think that atv or not the atv but the atv transmission is indeed do going to be found down there any and all that type of jazz in that comment section down below and a reminder that that comment is going to put you one third of the way into the weekly trial dollar at your place store gift card giveaway all you gotta do 
do as well is make sure the like button make sure subscribe to that will sure you win on today's video y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on earth video when saturday rolls around we'll pick a random video for the past week pick a random comment from that random video and that will be the winner for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well and guess what today's saturday so today we're gonna be announcing the winner of this past week's 25 dollars i2 touch play store gift card giveaway and a brand new giveaway is a kicking off today as well so this is the very first video y'all can enter in on for this week's giveaway like i'm saying make sure you subscribe drop a comment down below and uh hit that like button you'll be entered in today feel free to enter in on all the upcoming yeet let's take out that tainted zombie over there on all the upcoming last day on earth videos and then when next saturday rolls around a new winner will be picked for this upcoming week and a new giveaway will begin as the weekly giveaway cycle continues and death to tainted zombie so best luck to you guys in the giveaway and like i'm saying we're gonna be announcing the winner of this past week's 25 dollar itunes slash play store gift card giveaway today and today it is gonna be announced in that pinned comment so there's gonna be a screenshot of the video that the randomly chosen comment was picked from and then there's also going to be a screenshot of the comment that won as well so if you are the person who posted that winning comment make sure to reply to that pinned comment in that comment section down below letting me know the very best way to privately get in contact with you so i can go ahead and get you set up with that code that you have just won my compadre and death to painted blotter there you go took him out nice and easy so make sure to reply to that pinned comment letting me know the best way to privately get in touch with you so i can get you set up with that and uh yeah i guess you enjoying and reaping the rewards of being the winner of this past week's giveaway so just let me know like you know like what your instagram might be maybe like what your email is just any way that i can privately get in touch with you so i can send you that code because i can't just reply to the pinned comment because oh we just got a quest note what's up my dudes it's a good thing it's finally over yeah good thing indeed hazmat dudes we couldn't stop them speaking of which like these these guys have hazmat armor as well we don't need help anymore oh that sucks like these guys have hazmat armor as well and it looks like they're actually going rogue from colonel barker which is actually kind of interesting huh that kind of ties in nice to some of the hazmat stuff we saw in those teased zombies and also i mean they could very well i wonder Dude, I, that might very well be a tie-in right there, because I don't think those people ever go back to my man Barker over here at his camp. And honestly, I don't know, like, exactly what happens to him, so... Kind of interesting little point over there. Definitely caught my attention a little bit. Let me know what you guys might think about that, potentially. But yeah, like I'm saying, if you are the winner, make sure to reply to that pinned comment, letting me know the best way to privately get in touch with you, so I can go ahead and get you the code for winning this past week's giveaway. And best of luck in the brand new giveaway kick it off this week to everybody who may want to enter so again winner of this past week is going to be in that pinned comment two screenshots a screenshot of the winning video and then the winning comment from that video that was randomly chosen okay okay seems barker's hiding something he didn't tell me those people had run away i think one of the lab workers realized that the experiments with charlie's cells would come to no good in that case i think i'm going to pretend that i trust him oh things are getting interesting they're getting feisty i hope they got what they deserve yeah they definitely did i killed him I mean, they died. That's what I did. Oh, I'll give you the data about four more Hendrix's people. Search the surroundings. You know what to do. They're still looking for me, but we will be the first ones to find them. Oh, Star, what is this? Oh, let me tell you. According to Barker, Salt managed to inform the HQ on our location. This means that four agents must already be on their way. I think they might try to get a good position and go through the pine grove or wood. I have to intercept them and try to eliminate them. That's right. At this point in time, we are tasked with the... English is hard, and sorry about the burp there. We are tasked with hunting down military personnel that is trying to hunt down and locate this camp right here. Now, there isn't an event that pops up on the map for us to go to, but if you go ahead and read this little note over here, uh, number 10, blah, 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 pine grove or pine wood. That is the pine grove. That is the pine mood. I will go to the grove first, and I'll probably go to the wood, and then, I mean, eh, I might go to the chopper event after this or something. But yeah, if you go over to this event, pretty much at each of these locations, you should be able to encounter one of those military scouts each. So after you encounter one, you can just leave the zone if you want, because only one will spawn in each of these zones. And I'm ready to take him down, my dude. I got a little bit of a shotgun rain. Nice and prepared for this occasion. See you later, tainted zombie. Give me your eyeballs very nice very nice and yeah i think if you just kind of like wander around the zone for a bit you should eventually uh try and come and mug me okay that's a toxic spitter not the fella i was looking for nor the loot that i was looking for huh oh we found a basement oh actually we might go ahead and kind of pop down in this basement for a bit because we do have some quests relating to basements 
So, uh, yeah. Oh, here's- is this the guy? Is this the guy? What up, Scout? How you doing? Let me introduce you to my compadre. Shotgun range, baby! Oh, well, all of his armor disappeared. And his arm is in his chest. Dang. We are taking some big L's today. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to get back to looting, but we have just defeated one of the four scouts. There's no way of keeping track of the scouts or anything like that, unfortunately, but he has got to kind of remember, oh, I killed one scout, and then is after you kill four of those dudes, uh, get out of here, Spitter. <laughs> after you kill four of those dudes, you can go back to Barker and move on in the storyline. And, okay, we got ourselves a little bit of food, too. Happy to take that off of the box's hands. What's that noise? Oh, that noise of us like looting was like kept on going for some reason. Weird. But yeah, we do have a task that literally involves us going down into here. It's actually, uh, well, we got, actually got the quest for visiting the Pine Grove. Nice. We got to kill a couple of toxic abominations for a quest there. But oh uh, yeah, visit a basement and kill 10 zombies in a basement. So yeah, it's basement time, baby. I'm trying to get some of these quests done. This basement door does require the hacker skill to open. Luckily, we have that skill ready to go. Bing bong pow. Let's make our way down into there and begin our Pine Grove adventures as well. But uh, yeah, winner will be p uh, posted in that pinned comment. And then if you do win, just make sure to let me know the best way to privately uh, get in touch with you. And okay, I'm going to the big guns because I don't know what to expect ahead of time here. Hello, Zombies. How you doing? Okay, there's a lot of you. Okay, couple of you dead. Okay, rest of you dead. Very nice. Oh, there's a big boy over there at the end. What's up, floater, floater? I'll take you out from a distance over there. So yeah. Uh, congrats to whoever is the winner in that pinned comment and best luck everyone else in the brand new giveaway Hey kicking off today and don't forget to have that notification bell to stay up to date with every single video <laughs> To stay up to date with oh another dead guy every single video y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway Not to mention all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well That it helps you stay in the loot box if you like last down earth great chance You're gonna be liking some of the other stuff going up if you haven't already given it a chance then give it a chance I think some of the other videos are definitely stuff that might be right up your alley and dude, oh my god, this is just a basement filled with zombies that have murdered everyone here. Oh, it's a bad day to be the Raiders. And we can go ahead and- Oh, hello, fast biters! Y'all eating? What's up? Hello? Oh no, I just hurt them! Well, it's okay, we got our task complete, and I think we actually should have moved up in the tier list a little bit. Yes, sir! Level 15 and level 16 are ours! We got ourselves a tactical backpack from the free-to-play side of this pass. The best backpack in the game that gives us the maximum amount of storage and, oh baby, some valuable survivor diaries. We got a lot of EXP awaiting us at some point in the future and we are definitely gonna be capitalizing on it. But for now, let's check out these shelves and there's some okay shelves. Nothing to write home about. We still got some more rooms we gotta break into though. Which we will continue doing, but yeah, tactical backpack is bay because it gives you three extra rows of storage. Military backpack only gives us two. Basic backpack only gives us one. Military backpack, I love you. Okay, dead guy McGee. He had some clothes. Okay, nothing special going on in this room. But yeah, the notification bell is also a great way to stay up to date with the latest and greatest of Last Day on Earth information as well. As soon as a type of new info does come out about the game, we are spreading it to y'all's eyes and ears absolutely ASAP, making sure that you are aware of what is coming to the future of Last Day on Earth, what is coming in the future updates, when those future updates are coming, any sneak peeks, previews, any and all that type of jazz. And of course, as soon as a new update does come out, such as Season 2 over here. Woo! Zampus! Shotgun raid. There you go. That dealt with one of you swiftly. And the other one's been dealt with as well. Whenever something new- Ooh, sucks to be you two. Oh my god! This is not up to par. There's only one chair for two people. Dude! This is- Who- Who is- Oh, psych, there's a second chair. Never mind, everything's in order. They- They got all the proper licenses, whatever. They, nothing- Nothing going on in there. Don't know what you're talking about. Torture chamber? They had two chairs, bro. I can't- I can't legally do anything about it. They had- They- They were up to capacity. Actually, they had four- They had two zombies and two people in there. And only two chairs, so never mind. We might be able to get them on a technicality here. We can shut down this basement. We just gotta report it. And oh, dead guy. Dang! Naked guy McGee put up quite a fight with this fella. Cause uh he doesn't exactly have anything left on him. Well yeah, that notification bell will keep you all in the loop, and whenever something new does come out, and especially whenever a new update does come out, we're checking it out ASAP and showing off all that it has to offer, and especially with season three coming up. I mean, we're obviously continuing to check out season two and all that this has to offer, but with season three coming up, oh baby, hey, that's one of the toxic abominations I gotta fight. Uh, with season three coming up, dude, we got the ATV and stuff coming, and uh, whatever this new nuclear location and zombies that we were having a look at today as well was, like, uh, Oh, goodness gracious. There are fun times ahead. Aww. She died holding his neck. Oh my god, did she choke him out? 
Oh. This is spooky. And then the laundry machine killed her. I see that open door. Laundry machine just pow, smacked her right in the face, took her out. I see you, laundry machine. You murderer. I know you did it. Never trust a laundry machine that's open when you see it. Oh, hello, zombies. Come to papa. Start sh that means shotgun rain. Get a couple hits off on you. And that's been dealt with. And now we just have the final room of this basement to pop into where there's a great chance that there is a zombie boss awaiting us. And that zombie boss is probably, uh, well, I don't know. It could be one of three bosses, I think. Actually, no, I think this one can only be one of two bosses. Either the Toxic Spewer or the, uh, whatchamacallit, Farty Dude. The guy who farts a lot. And the, the farts are very painful. I don't have a better way of explaining it. I'm sorry, but yeah, that's all I got. All right, let me chow down on some food. Get some health back, clear up a little bit of inventory room, and hope you all are ready. Because the time has come. We must deal with what's going on in here, and I don't know what to expect. It is. Oh, it's some raiders. What's up, dudes? Quiet, they're going to hear us. Hey, no, 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 you're not allowed. Get back here. No, no. Oh, no. I'm fending you people off. Oh, this is not what I was expecting at all. Hold on. I'm going to let these dudes kind of like uh, get all nice and bunched up to deal with them in one go. Aw, oh, dang, man. The raiders got away. Psych, I think I killed one of them here. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Maybe the other raider kind of pushed the other guy out of the way. He's like, hey, take the fall for me, bub. Regardless. Okay, there we have it. Oh, and there's a little loot container here as well. And here's the thing. I'm like 99% sure if there's a loot container in this room, it tends to be really good. You know, I should not have opened my big fat mouth. Because I definitely just jinxed it. It has the potential to be good. I know that it does. But apparently the game's like, no. No soup for you. But, uh, yeah. With that said, with that done, I think that's going to go to start wrapping it up for this episode of Last Day on Earth Survival. Best luck to everyone on the brand new weekly $25 iTunes Touch Play Store gift card giveaway kicking off today. Again, if you are the winner, make sure, I mean, before you know if you're the winner, make sure to check that pinned comment and check if one of your comments was the winning comment for this past week's giveaway. And then, uh, yeah, make sure to reply to that pinned comment, letting me know the best way to privately get in touch with you so I can go ahead and get you uh, set up with that. With that said, with that done, that's going to wrap it up for us in our last day on Earth adventures for now. When we return, our season two adventures will continue after we take out a couple of these military dudes. And then we're going to move on up. And uh, week two tasks, by the way, have almost been unlocked. So we got some good stuff coming our way. We're going to continue making progress on our week one tasks. And obviously, continue making our way towards the season one pass as well. We're currently at level 16. There are 40 levels we got to get to because I want that Kevlar armor at the end. That's literally the best armor in the game. And also getting these tasks done gets us some progress on the season savings pass because we can for the... Unfortunate cost of five dollars. Dude, you know what I could get with that? I could get like five iced coffees during happy hour. Okay, shouts out to Duncan. But uh, yeah, I want Kevlar armor and the harpoon gun because we were having a lot of fun with that thing when we got our first one. So much fun that I almost broke it. But I got to hang it up in my base, so it's okay. But uh, with that said, with that done, that's gonna go to start wrapping it up. Oh me for now. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Hi, this was an awesome one. And I'll talk to you next one. See ya.